In this week's video, I'm gonna talk about the very first thing that I do after I import my images that helps me get much better raw files straight from the get-go before I even start image editing at all. Now, today's video is sponsored by my friends over at DxO. We're gonna be talking about their Pure Raw 5 in today's video. Now, this is the product that I actually use. I've used this since I started photography long before I had any sponsorships or anything like that. So I was, of course, excited when DxO reached out wanting me to help show off their Pure Raw 5 because it is something that I actually use and I've actually recommended it before in the past. Now, Pure Raw 5 is a raw processor. It processes your raw images. You can do things like remove vignettes, do optical fixes for both distortions and aberrations. And then of course you can sharpen and reduce noise, which are really the two biggest ones. And you do this all on your raw files before you do any editing, and then it spits out a DNG raw file for you to edit from. There's really no reason why you wouldn't want to use this software. In fact, generally after I import my images onto my hard drive here, um, I will throw them all in a pure raw five and do a process process there where I just apply a preset, all my images get denoised and sharpened, and then I will go through and edit them after the fact later. So I'm going to show you how to do all that in today's video. Let's jump right in there to a DxO Pure Raw 5. Now, first things first, when you get into Pure Raw 5, you're going to see this, which doesn't have a whole lot going on. So the first thing you need to do is add images. So really the power in this software comes when you import whole folders and you allow it to process through a whole folder of raw images, but it's also powerful for individual images too. And it's definitely a lot more fun to look at editing the individual images. So we're going to talk about that first, and then I'll show you later how to throw in a whole folder and do some batch processing. Um, now let's work first with, let's do this photo. Um, and when you double click a photo, it just allows you to see the preview here. Um, so you actually want to go back to the light box and just single click the photo and then process with preview. So this is the interface that you get for denoising, um, as well as sharpening, as well as all of these optical corrections down here. I always like to zoom in so you can scroll if you have a mouse or you can do that little thing with your fingers where you pinch or pull if you have a trackpad on a laptop and then you can make adjustments here. So I wanna see a little bit different spot on the image, uh, maybe right here, the face of the deer. So I haven't done anything other than just allowed the uh, settings that load in by default. And you can see here when I drag this center bar, you can see we removed quite a bit of noise. Now, the reason why the image is moving there a little bit is because we're doing um, lens distortion. If I uncheck that now, you'll see that the image doesn't move. So it does all these things. Let's walk down really quickly and just talk about what each of them does. The denoising and demosaicing, I would I like using the Deep Prime XD2S slash XD. You can also try Deep Prime 3. Um, this X trans is in beta for X trans images, but I typically stick with this middle one here. Now you have luminance and then force details. The more luminance, the more noise it removes. The higher the details, kind of the more sharpness it adds back in there almost, or the more details it retains. Um, you can adjust these as you see fit, and you'll notice it updates here. It says updating, and then you can see the before and after. On the left is the before, on the right is after. You can go down here and do optical corrections, the lens sharpness optimizations. That's a great way to sharpen images that aren't already sharp. Um, or a lot of times, you know, I just like to do 200, which is the, the furthest. Or you can come down to like 100 if that's too much for you. You can always toggle this and you can see if you're watching this video in 4K, you can probably see that's making a little bit of a difference there. Then we've got vignetting. So let's zoom out here. Um, you can see that fixes the vignetting and the chromatic aberration which is great, and lens distortion if you would like it to. So you can do all those things there. Now, of course, these bottom three things you can do in almost any other photo editor, so I don't think that they're too incredibly special or unique, but um, really the lens sharpness and then the luminance and the force details are really what makes this powerful. So as you can see, this also works great for these night photos in here. Really, really happy with that. You can see just how noisy this was, especially like in the foreground. Um, super noisy and it just cuts through all that noise. So it looks really, really good. And we're going to show you kind of before and afters um, just after this. We'll look at one more image here. This one um, you can do some pretty special stuff with. So the problem with this photo, I focused on these background hills, not on the tree. So you can see the tree is not in focus. So we adjust these luminance and force details. You know, I don't need to do a whole heck of a lot here with these just because 
the photo is not really noisy and we're going to get that sharpness back from the lens sharpness optimization. Let's scroll over to the trunk of the tree. Let's uncheck lens distortions and look how much sharpness we're getting back out of that tree there. And it, it looks legit. Unlike a lot of these, um, like photo recovery software where they give you this really AI looking photo, this actually looks really legit. It just fixes basically my, uh, my mistake in the field. So that's really, it gives me some peace of mind as a photographer to know, you know, even if I just barely missed that shot, there's still hope, there's still some recovery. So let's briefly look at these three images that I just fixed, the raw compared to pure raw five. Now I was showing you kind of the adjustments I would make. I spent a little bit more time before this video actually making those adjustments that I could show you here. Um, so I've probably done a little bit better job since I spent about 10 minutes on each photo, figuring out exactly what would look best. So this is that Milky Way photo. Um, you can see this is the raw, super noisy. This is the uh, pure raw five version. So you can see it removed that vignetting and it's done such a nice job removing noise. We've got uh, the raw and then the pure raw five. So it's great for Milky Way photos. Additionally, we'll look at wildlife photo here, high ISO, uh, low light photo before and after. You know, it's not like super, super noisy, but it's just a little bit noisy where why wouldn't we want to start with this little bit cleaner file that looks completely legit. It doesn't look faked at all. Um, it just looks like a nice high quality photo. Then same thing here, our change. Um, we've got the raw and we've got the sharpened version. You see the trunk of the tree on the raw and the sharpened version. So it looks so good. It seriously something that I do for all images. Now, these three images were particularly bad. They all had a problem, whether it was this Milky Way that was super high ISO and really noisy. It was this photo, which was low light and noisy, or this photo, which was out of focus. Software works great, but of course it works just as well for just regular photos that don't really have any problems, but you just want them to be a little bit sharper or a little bit less noisy. You know, even if you shoot at ISO 100, there's still a little bit of noise in your photos. So just being able to remove the noise and increase the sharpness just a touch and start with a little bit better of a base file is gonna be perfect for those of you that love pixel peeping like myself. You want the absolute sharpest image possible, why not get it? Literally with Pure Off 5, you can spit everything in there, uh, create a preset, process everything, and then, you know, just, Go make your dinner, grab your cup of coffee, whatever, while the photo is processed, and then you can go back and edit cleaner raw files for free um, once you buy the software, of course. But for free, meaning like you don't have to spend a lot of time sitting at your computer. It doesn't cost you a lot of time. All you have to do is press start, basically press process, and it does it for you. Let me show you how I throw a folder of images in there and how I would do that. Okay, so let's say I've got this file of folders shot on November 16th, 2024. They're all in here. I can simply just click and drag this whole folder and it will drop everything right in there. Now, it doesn't import TIFF files because it only does raw files. That's fine. We understand that. Um, so it's just these unedited raw files. So we'll hit OK. Now we have this whole group of files to work with. So what we're going to do is just create a preset that we can apply to all of these images to make this super simple and easy. So let's click on this photo here. Process with preview. And then we are just gonna go in and process this one like we would normally. So let's look for something that can just remove the noise just a little bit and improve the sharpness. You can see this has done both of those things. Um, it's looking a little bit sharper. I mean, it's not, it's not really unsharp to begin with, but this helps increase the sharpness a little bit. You can see around the hairs, they're a little bit sharper now because we've got this uh, lens sharpness optimization. You can see a little bit of noise over here that does get removed there. So, I mean, honestly, this is pretty good. Uh, we could adjust the settings if we want, but we don't need a lot of luminance or a lot of details in this one. Um, so it's looking just fine. Now, what we're going to do is save this as a preset. So you'll click on preset right here and then save current settings as a preset. And let's just call this um, moose photos preset. Hit save. Now we'll go back to the light box click on the first image in the folder, shift click on the last image, and we're gonna click process. Then you can see preset, moose photo preset, just like that, it's gonna apply all of those settings. You can choose where you want the output to be, output DNG, that's just a raw file, which is probably what you want. You could do TIFF or JPEG if you want it as well, but DNG is probably what you wanna do. And then you can choose the folder where it goes to, or you can just put it back in the original uh, folder. 
and then you can choose what you want it to be named. Um, so however you want to name this, go ahead and edit it just like that. Um, and then you can just hit apply and then process now. Then once you click process now, it's going to spit out all those images, take a few minutes, but then now you have better raw files to work with. So to me, it's really a no brainer. Why would you not want those better raw files to work with that have just a little bit less noise, a little bit better sharpness, even if your photos are sharp in the field, they could always be just a little bit sharper. Um, and so working with those raw files, having them just be a touch better is just gonna help your overall images. Now, of course, when you're looking at it on a small screen like a phone, it's not really gonna make a difference, but for those of you that are pixel peepers, those of you that wanna print your images, those of you that are perfectionists just like me, you are going to love this software because it is going to help you get just you know 1% better than everyone else um, with your just general photos. And then of course, when you have a photo that's extra noisy or it's extra unsharp, you can use the software as well and it's going to really, really help you there. So I love DxO Pure Off 5. Something I'd highly recommend, something that I'm using quite a bit. Honestly, I, if I remember, I upload all of my images and send them through Pure Raw 5 before I go in and edit them. So I would highly recommend you do that as well. Now, I've included a link down below where you can pick up Pure Raw 5 as well as a discount code for you guys for watching this video. Uh, that you can use to pick up this software or any other DxO product. I've made videos in the past covering color effects um, and even Photo Lab, which are both fantastic software. I'll link those that you should check out as well because that discount code does work for all DxO products. Now, thank you guys so much for watching this video. My name is Austin Jackson. If you have any comments, let me know down below. Otherwise, please make sure to leave a like and a subscribe, helping to continue to grow my channel. Always appreciate you guys being here. Thank you so much, and we'll see you guys next time.